Hi everyone, I'm Ronan Unchained. This is a unique new type of review I'm going to be doing. It's The Magic Order Volume 2 Issue Number 1. I'm a big comic book fan and a series of favorite of mine, personal favorite of mine, is Mark Millar's The Magic Order, which came out about a year or two ago and it concluded just the first volume of a story and I was lucky enough and fortunate enough to receive an early copy of the newest first issue uh, thanks to Miller World and to Netflix. I thank you so much. If you haven't seen, I haven't read the first uh, run, I highly, highly recommend it and maybe later on I'll do a review for it. This continues in a perfect way if you've read the first volume. If you haven't read the first volume, I highly recommend it. It's only six issues, it's easy to delve deep into, and it just pulls you into the world of magic in this setting. I always said it, people always said it, that if the Godfather met Harry Potter, that's the magic order. This second volume feels like if Hogwarts and Harry Potter was all about high school, this is college level, or graduate school afterwards. It is it's more adult theme, dark stuff is, are happening, that doesn't involve magic all the way, it's just all about the family, if you will. Reagan, Cordelia, and Moonstone are back. Cordelia right now is in charge of the Magic Order, and Reagan is trying to make sure that they're on the same page because she's been off for a while. And this takes place six months after the events of Volume 1. Another plus for all of us who have read the first volume, Rosie is in this book and she is as close as ever with the family, specifically with Cordelia and with uh, Reagan. And she's learning more about her powers. She's she's practicing them and trying to get close to what the order is. And it's it was nice to see that she's with the family now after the very saddening and horrific ending of the last volume, which you know you know took a toll on the family. But they moved onwards. It introduces them into a new threat, a new enemy of the Magic Order, and to a new way of battling magic, if you will. I'll say this. I won't say what happens and what happens, but I'll say this. Reagan Moonstone has to fight off a kid's imaginary friend. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. Stuart Emin honors the art of Oliver Kuiper. I hope I'm not butchering your name. He honors it. And there are splash pages that are to die for. And I hope maybe one day I could buy a couple of those pages. Add it to your pull list immediately. Whether you read it or not, grab this issue. And if you dig it, go get the first volume. And if you've already been a fan of it like I am, this issue, it just it's like laying back and be like, ah, we're back into this amazing world where these complex characters and bizarre scenarios. There's some nice hints or references to stuff that was introduced and shown in terms of lore from the first volume and there were nice uh, uh, little easter eggs I'm like ah, I know what they're referring to I don't even want to imagine what Mr. Millar has in store for us with this storyline great return into this world and that's my review of the magic order volume 2 issue number 1 if you dug this review subscribe to the channel grow it out more like it and I will see you in the next video.